Hello everybody. I'll try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I just finished doing some transplanting of seedlings, so I thought I would show you how those are progressing. Uh, give you a look at what I've done with my hydroponic setup here in the house, and then quickly out to the hoopos to show you what's happening with the hoopos experiment. This is a potato. Somebody who's watching knows which potato this is. <laughs> anyway, uh, one special kind of potato, and I planted it just a few days ago, less than a week ago. And as you can see, it's coming up. I've soon got to add more soil when it gets its true leaves. And we can just take a look down the rest of the row here. Uh, I won't name each thing. You can see some of the number tags, and I will put the list of uh, plants below the video. This is my okra, the one that I've decided to keep. I have uh, disposed of the other two. I know the, how big they grow. I only want one. I won't name all of the different kinds of peppers. As I say, you can see the, see the name tags there. But this is the King Arthur hybrid um, green bell pepper. Just transplanted them, so some of them are a little bit on the floppy side. But they were all planted at the same time, all of my peppers, the hot and sweet varieties. And these came through the ground so quickly and have grown so much more, as you can see by looking at the other seedlings here. The geraniums, all ten of them got transplanted just a short time ago. And more of different kinds of uh, peppers over there. And the final um, flat over here on the end has just got uh, three different kinds of tomatoes and three different kinds of mustard greens and they're just barely germinated so it'll be quite a while yet before I'll be transplanting them into larger pots or anything. I've got the light raised up. I'm just, as soon as I finish this clip I will lower the light down and, and put my mylar sheet down over the the little grow bed here again. Well, let's have a look downstairs at the uh, hydroponics. Uh, back down here in the living room in front of the glass doors, that is my uh, uh, bay leaf, bay laurel, which has put on a lot of new growth. You can see the lighter green leaves started really putting on growth, oh, I don't know, a month or so ago, and some of those new stems are must be close to a foot long. So. It has survived the winter nicely and recognizes spring, I guess. Next to it is the oleander. Too much light here, I'm not going to be able to show it to you very well, but it is doing the same thing that it did outdoors last year. Lots of blossom buds, nothing ever opens. They dry up and fall off, so what that means, I don't know. I brought the onion seedlings down here. They have been uh, cut back, I think, four times now, and I'm not cutting them anymore because they're not under lights, don't have to worry about them getting up into the lights. They seem to be surviving quite nicely just in front of the door here in the, in the sunlight, but within the next week, ten days or so, I will take them out and, and put them in the greenhouse because onions are, are quite hardy. Next to that is the little teeny rosemary that I'm trying to nurse through. And this is what I've done with my hydroponics. I needed the space in the light garden uh, it's a two-tier light garden, two shelves, and I'm still only using one, but soon I will be needing all of the space as I start more and more seedlings to get ready for planting the garden. So I moved this down here into the living room a couple of days ago, and it seems to be doing quite well. It's sort of some of it's leaning towards the light, but I tend to use it more here, just off the kitchen, and I come get lettuce leaves and whatever when I need them. So I don't know how much longer that will last. I want to... Uh, sage and the parsley. I'd like to try removing them from the net pots and, and plant them in the hoopos eventually and the rest of it I guess will just, you know, like any plants like that, will just go its course. Well let's go have a little look at uh, the project in the in the hoopos. Well, we're out in the hoopos and it has been, I'm not certain, but seven or eight days since I planted these seeds, the brassicas, and they are starting to come up. I think I can see three different varieties there that are up. The one that you're looking at is broccoli. And let's see, next to it I have one of the uh, red fire lettuces up. On the other side of it I have the collards. See if I can 
move the camera a bit here without yeah, losing everything. I guess you can see the that's the collard coming up there, coming up there. And oop, that's lettuce. So it is working, but let me give you a look at what I've done. I sort of listened to my own advice, I guess. I was uh, talking in the last video about why the temperature here in the Hoopos doesn't go below freezing, because these large beds of dark soil absorb sunlight and heat during the daytime and give that heat off at night. Well. I left them out here for a couple of days on the bench, and then I had a thought that maybe you should practice what you're preaching. I went and took them off the bench and put them down on top of the soil so that they stay much warmer at night. I've taken the dome off just to, to show you this, but I will I'll be putting it back. And that's how the little experiment out here is going. And I'll just see if I can zoom up here. Those are a few strawberry plants. And lo and behold, in bloom. I have a little art brush that I make believe I'm a bumblebee with and go around and brush it inside of them. So here we are, April 2nd, and I have uh, strawberry blossoms. And there are several plants down along the edge of that bed, and I see four or five blossoms all together. So the strawberries are starting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this little clip. I'll get it up on YouTube.